My apologies, young one. It's time for a proper introduction. I'm the new Padawan learner. I'm Ahsoka Tano. I am Obi-Wan Kenobi, your new master. I'm at your service, Master Kenobi. Welcome, my friend. Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great day. If you would like a chance to win Ahsoka's Force FX Elite Lightsaber, just like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and comment below. The winner will be called next week. As seen in the Clone Wars movie, where we first met Ahsoka Tano, Obi-Wan thought that she was going to be his new Padawan. It turned out that Yoda assigned Ahsoka to Anakin Skywalker. But what if Ahsoka was really assigned to Obi-Wan? Would she thrive under Kenobi's guidance? Would her fate be altered in any way? Before we continue, I want to say that most of you who watch my videos aren't subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy my videos and would like to see more of them, hit that subscribe button and click the bell right next to it. Under Obi-Wan's measured and insightful tutelage, Ahsoka's training embarked on an unparalleled odyssey. Renowned for his unwavering wisdom and the serene grace in which he approached the Force, Obi-Wan instilled in Ahsoka the art of harmonizing strength with tranquility, teaching her to navigate the delicate dance of composure in all aspects of life. Their dynamic, akin to a finely tuned symphony, resonated an undercurrent of mutual respect and genuine camaraderie. Obi-Wan's composed demeanor provided an anchor to Ahsoka's spirited nature, creating a symbiotic relationship that transcended the mere roles of Master and Padawan. He encouraged her insatiable curiosity, nurturing within her a profound and intimate understanding of the Force and the intricate tapestry of the Jedi Code. Together, they confronted the crucible of the Clone Wars. Ahsoka's latent potential blossomed under Obi-Wan's expert guidance. His emphasis on fortitude and precision tempered her spirited inclinations, sculpting her into a formidable force within the intricate choreography of lightsaber combat. As the conflagration of war raged unabetted across the cosmos, Ahsoka emerged as a beacon of hope and sagacity. Her renown traversed the boundaries of the battlefield. She was celebrated not merely for her martial prowess, but equally for her diplomatic finesse. Obi-Wan's indelible influence imbued her with a profound sense of duty, a responsibility that transcended the crucible of combat and extended into the heart of the galaxy's strifeful. Their connection, a luminous thread woven through the very fabric of the Force, transcended the traditional bounds of Master and Padawan. They became comrades in the crucible of conflict, united by a shared dedication to the elusive dream of peace. Ahsoka's faith in the Jedi Order remained unwavering, a testament to the profound impact of Obi-Wan's teachings that emphasized the very essence of the Force and its unyielding allegiance to the resplendent light. In the months that followed, the war was ongoing. Ahsoka and Obi-Wan, united in purpose and bound by unshakable trust, stood resolute against the enroaching darkness that sought to engulf the galaxy. Their unity, forged through the crucible of trials and tribulations, was a testament to the unwavering strength that emerged from their shared vision for a better tomorrow. As battles raged on distant planets and the echoes of blaster fire reverberated through the cosmos, Ahsoka and Obi-Wan became a symbol of hope. Their presence on the front lines inspired weary troops and kindled a spark of resistance in the hearts of those who had lost their faith. Together they strategized, not just as master and padawan, but as equals, weaving their combined strength into a formidable tapestry. In the quiet moments between skirmishes, they delved deeper into the mysteries of the Force. Obi-Wan, with his encyclopedic knowledge and meditative wisdom, guided Ahsoka through agent texts and techniques. He instilled in her a reverence for the Force's boundless wisdom, teaching her that that it was not merely a tool, but a living presence that flowed through all things. Ahsoka, in turn, brought a freshness and an unbridled vitality to their partnership. Her innovative combat maneuvers and intuitive understanding of the ebb and flow of battle added a dynamic flair to their strategies. With every exchange, they learned from one another, their bond evolving into a dance of mutual growth and enlightenment. As the war continued, the weight of their responsibilities pressed upon them. The choices they made held the power to shape the destinies of entire star systems. Each decision was weighed carefully and discussed in hushed tones during stolen moments of respite. Yet, 
Amid the chaos and the unrelenting demands of leadership, they found solace in their shared purpose. After a year of tireless dedication and unwavering commitment to the Force, the momentous day arrived when Ahsoka stood before the Jedi Council, her heart brimming with a blend of anticipation and reverence. The hollowed council chambers echoed with a palpable sense of significance as the council members regarded her with a mixture of pride and solemnity. Master Yoda, the venerable sage, spoke with a voice that resonated through the Force itself. Step forward, Padawan Tano. By the will of the Council, by the will of the Force, grant you the rank of Jedi Knight I do. Master Kenobi, her steadfast mentor, looked upon her with a mixture of pride and fondness, his eyes reflecting the journey they had undertaken together. Ahsoka, you have proven yourself time and again. Your understanding of the Force, your valor in the face of darkness, and your compassion for all living beings are a testament to your character. Ahsoka's heart swelled with gratitude. She knew that this moment was a culmination of not only her own efforts, but also the wisdom and guidance imparted by her master, Obi-Wan Kenobi. The bond they shared was a source of strength, a beacon that had guided her through the darkest hours of the galaxy. With a voice steady and resolute, Ahsoka accepted the mantle of a Jedi Knight. Her heart aligned with the principles of the Jedi Code. She vowed to stand as a guardian of peace, a beacon of hope and a protector of the light. As a Jedi Knight, Ahsoka's influence grew, transcending the boundaries of the Jedi Order. Her teachings resonated with a generation of Padawans, each one eager to glean wisdom from the Jedi who had walked a unique path. Under her guidance, Padawans learned to trust their instincts, to embrace the ebb and flow of the Force, and to find strength in moments of doubt. Ahsoka's approach was not one of strict adherence to tradition, but a flexible understanding that embraced the complexities of a galaxy in flux. As the Clone Wars continued to unfold, Ahsoka's presence on the battlefield was a beacon of hope for the weary troops. Her combat prowess, honed through years of training alongside Master Kenobi, was legendary. Yet, her compassion and unwavering dedication to the well-being of all beings, regardless of affiliation, set her apart. In the heart of the galactic conflict, Ahsoka and Obi-Wan remained steadfast allies, their bond deepening with each passing trial. They navigated through the shifting tides of war, their complementary strengths forging a formidable partnership. Obi-Wan's strategic acumen and unshakable calm provided a stabilizing force, while Ahsoka's dynamic approach and unwavering resolve brought a vitality that breathed life into their strategies. Together, they orchestrated pivotal victories and offered hope to worlds ravaged by the fires of war. As the events of Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith unfolded, Ahsoka found herself at a pivotal crossroads. The Siege of Mandalore, which had been a turning point in her original timeline, did not occur. Instead, she stood by Obi-Wan's side, prepared to face the challenges that awaited them. When the call came to apprehend General Grievous on the desolate world of Utapah, Ahsoka did not hesitate. Their encounter with the cybernetic general was a testament to their combined skill and strategic prowess. Ahsoka's dynamic combat style, honed through years of training under Obi-Wan's guidance, complemented his measured precision. Together, they engaged Grievous in a harrowing battle that echoed through the catacombs. Grievous, formidable though he was, found himself pressed from all sides, the relentless onslaught of their dull assault wearing away at his defenses. In the climax of the battle, as Grievous made his final stand, it was Ahsoka's unwavering resolve that tipped the scales. With a swift and calculated strike, she disabled the general's cybernetic limbs, leaving him broken and defeated. As Grievous was finally destroyed, Obi-Wan and Ahsoka exchanged a glance of mutual accomplishment. They knew that this victory was a testament to the strength of their bond and the wisdom that had been imparted through the years of shared trials. As the Battle of Utapal continued, Ahsoka and Obi-Wan would order Cody and his men to move to the higher levels. Afterward, this would be the beginning of the end. And that's where the fanfic is going to stop. If you guys want a part two, that can be arranged. 
I did put a lot of work into this one and I really hope you've enjoyed it. Tell me what you thought about the fanfic and the new Ahsoka episode in the comments below. Personally, I loved it and I'm really eager for next week's episode. And I'm curious to see what Balin's endgame is. I'll be announcing the winner of the Ahsoka Force FX Elite Lightsaber giveaway next week, so stay tuned for that. Be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching, have a great day, and may the Force serve you well.